Hello, my name is Jian Hu. I'm currently a fifth-year PhD student in CPAS, and my advisor is Dr. Rolando Burgos. My research interests include magnetic integration, high switching frequency converter design with a focus on EMI mitigation, and enhanced gate driver technologies for silicon carbide MOSFETs. In this video, I will be talking about the optimal design of a high-temperature PCB embedded transformer, gain-based gate drive power supply with a wide input range. In modern automobiles, electronic devices are ubiquitous. Here shows the power structure. The proposed gate drive power supply is fed from the 12 row bus and its output is connected to the gate driver of the wideband gate based inverter. Compared to other DC DC converters, the gate drive power supply in this presentation has some of the most challenging electrical requirements. First, it should achieve high power density to free up the limited space for other critical functionalities. Second, high efficiency is mandatory to ensure safe operation because automotive converters work at harsh environment where they cannot be cooled by false conviction in the case of high ambient temperature up to 125 degrees C. Third, we should present survivability to the undesired transients, including crank and drum star outlined in the international or manufacturer standards, which requires the circuits powered directly from the battery to operate over a wide input range. Good EMI immunity is also very important. Otherwise, the high DVDT will induce a large caramel current and cause malfunctions. To shrink the size and minimize the loss, GAN devices are utilized thanks to its higher power density, higher switching frequency, and lower on-state resistance. The PCB embedded technique is adopted to further improve the power density by removing wasting space between magnetic components and FT layer. This technique is compatible with conventional multi-layer PCB manufacturing. It reduces cost by removing manual steps. In this structure, the magnetic core is embedded in a multi-layer PCB, serving a substrate carrying the rest of the converter circuit. As a result, the topology has to be simple. The soft switching eddy clamp flyback topology as shown at the bottom left corner is currently employed for such applications due to its good trade-off between simplicity and efficiency. With a fixed input, one design corresponds to one efficiency and power density. By comparing all possible designs, the optimal one can be easily found. However, for the wide input applications, the working condition change with the input voltage. At lower voltages, the conduction loss of the primary devices dominates due to the higher current. As the input voltage increases, the reverse recovery loss of the rectifier diodes plays the leading role, bringing difficulties in selecting the operation mode. Apart from that, the region of acceptance is very limited due to the constraints given by the wide input operation. Size determines the achievable inductances. The selected operation mode further reduces the desirable inductance range. The winding structure decides the coupling strength of the transformer, and it rules out some designs. The ZBS realization and the controller study cycle capability form the upper and lower barriers to the region of acceptance. In summary, size, efficiency, and voltage gain should be well balanced. The design flow diagram of the multi-objective optimization is shown on the left. The process is partitioned into three iterative steps, namely converter level, circuit level, and components level. The converter level sets the main sweeping loop. The input voltage that affects the converter loss, size, and component selection is the main variable being swept from 8.5 to 28 volt. For a given V-int, the circuit level design is then performed. Simulation and analytical models are performed at this stage to obtain component values as well as different operation parameters. The results are then fed to the component level design, where again devices Rectified diodes and the attic clamp flatbed transformer are selected and designed. The PCB embedded transformer structure is shown on the right. The leakage inductance are very important parameters that affect not only the ZVF realization but also the voltage gain. The secondary leakage inductances should be minimized. Therefore, 
perfectly interleaving structure is adopted between two secondary windings. The primary inductance should be optimized to achieve ZBS. As a result, the two secondary windings are grouped together and partially interleaved with the primary winding. Here shows the test prototype. It consists of the proposed PCB embedded transformer based gate drive power supply and a test board, which emulates the gate driver for inverter. Three terminals are placed on the test board. They are connected to the bench power supply and electronic loads. This prototype was placed inside a thermal chamber and used to conduct the high temperature test. No copper planes are designed in this test board, so it won't act like a heat sink affecting the gate drive power supply's high temperature performance. In addition, a PCB embedded transformer that is separated from the gate drive power supply was also fabricated. It is connected to the ATI layers by wires so that the current waveform can be measured. Here shows the main waveforms of the gate drive power supply at nominal voltage and rated power. Zero voltage switching is achieved and the duty cycle at this operating point is 81%. The efficiency versus input voltage curve is shown in here. A peak efficiency of 89.7% is achieved at nominal voltage. High temperature test is also done to evaluate its thermal performance. It achieves 105 degrees C and 115 degrees C operating temperature at low line and high line voltages. The operating temperature is limited by the transformer temperature, which raised the ambient temperature around the attic components. The PCB embedding technique main advantages are its low profile, low cost, and its perfect fit for automotive manufacturing and mass production. Yet, it also brings challenges to the design. There are materials which are widely used thanks to their high permeability and low power loss density, have magnetomechanical properties that can deteriorate permeability when subject to mechanical stress such as the pressure applied during the PCB fabrication process. Lower inductance causes higher currents that leads to higher losses. Here shows a comparison between the efficiency with hand wound transformer and PCB embedded transformer. It shows that the overall efficiency decreases by 8% due to the permeability degradation. It also challenging the wide input and high temperature design. To address this issue, a larger core or better material should be used. Otherwise, the input voltage range has to be compromised. In summary, a dual output 10 watt gate drive power supply for wide band gap based three phase inverters for automotive applications is designed. Eddy clamp flyback is selected for its simple structure and soft switching feature. GAN devices and PCB embedded technique are adopted to improve the power density and efficiency. It achieves a power density of 53.2 watt per cubic inch, wide input range of 8.5 to 28 volt, a input to elbow capacitance of 9.7 picofarad, and a peak efficiency of 89.7%. In conclusion, GAN devices are suitable in high frequency operation. It significantly improves the power density and efficiency. No thermal issue were found and they are good for high temperature operation. During the design, permeability degradation due to mechanical stress in the manufacturing process is found. It reduces the input voltage range, causes efficiency drop, and limits the operation temperature. To address this issue, larger core or better materials should be used. That's all for today's presentation. Please feel free to reach out by email to me about this research if you have any questions. Thank you all for your attention.